Hi, Kelly here from Cochrane Toyota. We're located at 8 River Heights Drive, Cochrane, Alberta. And today I've got a 2021 RAV4 Trail Edition. And of course, here at Tacoma Town, we're going to add a little bit of flavor to it. Let me show you. So we were pretty excited when Toto announced they're going to do a Trail Edition RAV4. And we figure here at Tacoma Town, why not do a full-on overlanding Trail Edition? So a lot of things on this guy. I'm going to try and blast through as much as I can. The first things you're going to notice on this guy, other than the deco package, of course, is the lights on this thing. So you're going to have your LP6 um, Baja design lights. These things have two stages on them. They do um, have a, do a, a little bit less bright than a really bright version. And again, of course, this amber is a really, really nice light to have on. You'd be surprised at how bright these guys are. It stunned me the first time I did it. We're going to have the um, amber squadron lights that replace the fog lights here on both sides. Again, those things are really nice. And again, they're not so bright that you can't be driving with them. And again, that nice amber is a little bit easier for oncoming traffic to see. But you'd be surprised at how well those things um, uh, blast out and give you a lot of that under fog light or what they're actually meant to be. And then of course we've got the um, S2 Pros with a ditch light conversion on them. So they got the little kit back here and they're pointed right out to the ditch. So if you're doing any off-roading with this guy, um, you'd be surprised at how um, bright everything's gonna be in front of you. That, that amber light's really nice and easy to see. And of course these big LP6s, they just shine all the way through there. Um, we do also have the skid plate underneath this guy. So you've got that uh, LP trail adventure in this guy. This really nice full body, full body armor underneath there. Um, and it does actually have room for more lights. If you wanted to add a couple more, we were really debating on throwing some more on there. But again, lots of room for, for growth on this guy. A couple other things we've done that are rate noticeable is locally we've got a um, Cynorama here in town that does an incredible job of um, wraps and the whole entire work. So they did a full custom piece for us. And of course, um, the traditional Toyota colors with the full matte black um, hood piece on here as well. So it gives it a little bit more definition on there. And then of course the custom trail edition version on the side here. So you got the maple leaf on the side, you got RAV4 sitting right there. And of course a really nice um, kind of foresty that would fit into where you need to. The other kind of nice feature of this is it's gonna keep, you know, brush and, and bushes and stuff like that from scratching on the side of your paint, which would be nice. We've also covered all the way through here in that same material. And then underneath, we've got a custom Rocky Mountain Edition um, piece right there for you. And we've got the Rhino units. These things are an awesome off-road tire. They're gonna keep you nice and um, you know firm on the road. Good set for off-roading. And then we've got the Toyo um, AT3 Open Countries on there. So we decided to go about two sizes bigger on there. These unit black Rhino rims sit out a little bit further. Not so far that you're gonna be blasting rock all the way through, but you can see it just sits out a little bit further there for you. So again, a really nice set there. And of course the Prince Hugh rack up top. I think these are a staple on any um, overlanding vehicle. These things have so many different things you can do to it. You can add more lights up to the front. There's bike rack kicks, there's there's kayak kits. I will probably throw a tent in the showroom. It's amazing what one of those things will actually do. It gives you infinite possibilities um, and all sorts of different things you can do. The nice part about these as well is they're a non-drill kit, so they don't actually have um, non-OEM holes in the roof, which is nice. And again, you just take a peek at that roof rack. It is, to me, you see in every Overland vehicle now, and that's where they're going. It's just such a utility-friendly version of it. And overall, the Trail Edition comes with a bunch of things inside of it that will allow you to off-road better. And you're seeing more and more of these things um, out in the field. You're not gonna go rock crawling with these things unless you really wanted to. And I think in high school, I saw some kids doing that and like little Civics and stuff. But uh, this will get you most of the places in, a, in, a, in an overlanding adventure type um, scenario. So again, really good looking unit. We've got a two inch, um, two inch lift kit on this guy as well. So that's why we got those bigger tires in there without the rubbing on that. So if you take a peek inside, it's a block lift kit. So the suspension in this thing already comes, um, I would say more robust because of the trail edition. You're gonna get that little extra height there on there as well. So again, a really, really nice lift, drives incredible. And again, just an overall good option vehicle. So jumping into some of the OEM pieces, you got backup camera in there. Of course, the trail edition badge there, that two-tone piece for you. You open this thing up, you got the automatic tailgate in this guy, um, which is a nice touch. We've actually thrown in the um, OEM, uh, what is it called now? cargo liner so that does fold down the nice part about the OEM one is it does fold down right there you can see with the seats as you fold these guys 
the seat goes with it so you don't have to remove it each time you uh, go ahead and do that or go ahead and pull that down. You know, let's pull the, the cargo liner out, which is nice. It just stays in there permanently for you. I'll press this button right here and stop that or shut the door for you. Uh, before I do that, I should say, if you take a peek as it's closing right there, there's actually a power outlet as well. We got that in there just before it closed on me. Jump on the inside here. The trail edition came with that orange trim. So again, kind of matches the amber and the traditional old Toyota color. So it's a nice um, color combo with the outside job. But again, that trail had that really nice little fabric piece right in there, along with that extra stitching in that leather upgraded seats. The Toyota does come with two sets of floor mats. These are the tub style floor mats. So again, you can see how much mud and dirt will go in there before it starts falling into the uh, carpeting. You do have USB ports in the back, chargers for your rear occupants, which is a nice option as well. Jumping into the driver's seat, one of the things you'll notice right from the get-go with this guy is it does have the smart key um, as we grab out of my pocket. The key for this guy, you can see on there, it's got the buttons you need to have right there. And the nice part about this guy is because it has that, you can lock the doors right there just by touching that sensor. And then when you're done, you can unlock the rear. So you just reach in there and unlock it. So you can keep the, the um, key in a pocket, a purse, a, uh, a bag, whatever you may have, and not have to worry about it. One of the nice things about it is you can set which doors you wanna unlock with that automatic feature. If I want to, I can just have that door unlock or all of them. So depending on what's most comfortable for you, you can really set and uh, adjust what's comfortable. Um, right here you have um, blind spot monitors in this guy as well, so really nice safety features. Along with those safety features, you're gonna have your um, lane trace assist camera here, does a few things for you. It's like built-in rumble strips. It's your automatic headlights there for you, and it's nice to have the automatic headlight up there because it's gonna hit that hill before um, your headlights do. So it's, it's surprising how well that camera um, maintains that automatic headlight for you. And it's also gonna be your anti-collision camera. So that thing's looking for people, silhouettes, um, animals and stuff like that, which will take you to a dead stop. This does have the radar cruise control in this thing. This is the 2.5 in here. So this thing will take you to a, um, a stop right behind the traffic and you just touch the gas, um, it will keep you on with the traffic. So really nice touch. I'm becoming a three bar guy. I like sitting further back than I normal do because this thing is it's getting better and better and better. It's not the old yo-yo um, of the laser cruise where it speeds up to catch up to somebody and slams on the brakes to, because you get too close. You'd be surprised um, that you don't even notice this thing working anymore. The radar cruise has come a long, long way. And to me, it is taking a lot of the anxiety out of driving and traffic and long trips and stuff like that. You can set the cruise and go. And if the car in front of you slams on the brakes between these two here, you're gonna be nice and comfortable. Now with that lift kit in there, we had to readjust both these things. Toyota has given us a, um, a schematic that our tech technicians will go through and you should see it they draw lines in the ground and make sure that things are working um, but it is set up so that it works even with the lift kit on there for you jumping into the car you're gonna have a few extra options that I like in the trail edition so you're gonna get power windows power locks um, power mirrors as well and the lock go button to keep the jerks in the back from messing with the windows and again that same stitch follows throughout the whole car and you're gonna have a counter um, what you call it, aluminum looking material on there the Trail Edition does have the upgraded stereo as well, so it is a nice um, sounding stereo. So if you like it loud, it's there. If you just like to hear it cleanly, it's there as well. Cup holders on the side, not big enough for an LG, but definitely a decent size. Inside here, you're gonna have your, um, I think it's eight way power. So you've got lumbar right there, back and bottom as well. And of course, look at these seats. That upgraded leather in the trail is just a really nice option. That perforated leather is nice in the summer, so it keeps some of that, that heat from um, sticking in there. And I like this new shoulder piece right there. So when you get into these seats, they've really been designed for long trips and comfortable um, seating positions. We'll jump in here. Actually, before I do that, we'll show you a couple more of these pieces right here. So some of the light bars are right there. So this is the one that you just press and it'll actually give you that two-stage on those LP6s. You're gonna have that two-stage light right there. And this is the on and off for the ditch lights as well. So again, nice positioning for both those things. Easy to, easy to touch while you're driving. On this side, you're gonna have your dimming lights for your dash, your automatic headlights. So if I click that button and then turn auto forward, you can see right there, I don't have to worry about my headlights pretty much forever. I do have the heated mirrors as, or windshield wipers as well, a heated steering wheel built into that guy. And then of course my hitch right there. Let me jump in and show you a couple more of the features. So jumping inside this guy, you can see right off the bat that orange um, extra little coloring kind of goes through every little inch of this thing. So at nighttime, you're gonna have some ambient light underneath there, same thing underneath this guy, and underneath a little 
change holder right there. So lots of little spots to hold stuff. One of the things I like about this material is it's like a rubbery compound, so things aren't gonna slide all the way through. If you take a peek at that, how that's set up, um, really nice option to be able to throw cell phones and keys and those kinds of things in there. Um, nice option, again, that yellow or the orange shorty goes throughout the whole bit. So you've got a telescope and steering wheel. This thing comes out, up and down, depending on what's comfortable for you. And a leather wrap steering wheel, again, heated all the way through. The nice thing about these steering wheels is they are grippy. And right behind there, there's a little bit of a ridge that kind of holds on. So depending on how you like to hold on to the steering wheel, it's comfortable all the way through, and you can really set it to where you're comfortable. On this side here is all your um, information right there. You can control your volume control right there, voice command, so it's phone, um, and of course your, your voice for navigation and those kinds of things right there, phone, anybody, anything like that. On this side, your cruise control sitting right there. If you watch, I can turn this thing on, hit set, and then adjust um, how far I want to sit in front of the car, or sit behind the guy. You can see in that top left right there how that does that. You can see how far you want to sit behind, behind the traffic. So that's right there for it. Again, mode's going to allow you to change through on this guy. Um, Sirius satellite radio, um, Apple CarPlay, um, AM, FM, all that's right there. CD. Uh, actually, I think there's not even a CD. As, as I say that, there's no CD in these things anymore. Um, but at the end of the day, leather wrap steering wheel telescope in the whole works. On this dash, you're going to have the upgraded um, LED screen there. It, it is fully adjustable. A couple of things I like about this is you can actually adjust the way this whole thing looks. So if you like having that tachometer look where it completes the circle, or you can adjust that to a, a bunch of different settings. It's got the digital speedometer out there. This little guy right here um, is your miles per hour, so you can see that clearly. One of the things I like about the cruise control in this guy is when I set the cruise control to a certain spot, it will give me a digital readout there of where I've locked it in. So if you want to pop it up, pop it down, you don't have to guess where you're at. Um, it's a nice option there for you. So again, really nice thing. Digital speedometer, easy miles per hour. You can swap those back and forth depending on where you're at. Start going through some of the options in this guy. Fuel economy. Um, that's your tachometer, kind of that button that used to be in the center. Messages is anything the car is trying to tell you. Um, oil changes, doors open, seat belts, those kinds of things will all pop up there for you. Lane trace assist, if I click on that guy, I've got um, options on how I want this thing to work. Um, Pre-collision system, I can turn that on off. Blind spot monitoring, same thing. Now it's a nice option if I do this and back out, you can take a peek at that. If I turn this off and turn it back on, you can see that bright orange pop up. It is clear in day as well, so if a car does pop up into that back, you can actually see the system. Rear cross traffic alert, that's this guy. So when you're backing out of a parking stall in a grocery store and you're, somebody's coming down the aisle, but you can't see him because there's a big giant truck beside you, this thing will fire down a number of meters on either direction to let you know somebody's coming with an audible warning. So again, part of that safety system, Toyota Safety Sense, is just pretty incredible in this guy. Vehicle settings, let's jump into that guy. Let me see if I can hold the button right there. Let's start going. Um, there's a few different pieces that I can pop in there for you. So again, lots of adjustments on what it is that I want to do in the car. Um, this is a neat one telling you where your um, all-wheel drive system is working. You do have the trip information right there. Keep going down to the thing, audio. So if I click this thing, you're actually going to see clearly um, what it is that you're actually listening to or changing stations. Again, this is that nice one that you can actually jump. This is probably where I spend most of my time on there. So if I hit set, go turn back so you can see that screen, and I start adjusting how far I want to actually sit. It, it, this is quite a ways back, the third one. This is still, even the close one, is still probably two car lengths back. But you'd be surprised, once you get driving this thing, you're away from rock chips or any damage that may come, and it takes some of that stress out of driving. Um, I've really become comfortable with that three bar system. So again, lots of information on this, uh, this dashboard. A couple laps around there, um, you get comfortable, but I think this is where you're gonna spend most of your time. Some of the other features in this guy, when I open up here, you're gonna have USB ports down there as well. So that's four USB ports just in the back. Plus you've got one underneath here, but this is maybe your hard wire to this guy. So if you actually wanna do um, to an iPod or something like that that doesn't have Bluetooth, um, you can actually still connect it. Um, your Apple CarPlay will be connected to that guy as well. So again, if you want your um, Android Auto as well, if you want your phone to look, be up on the screen, that's how you're gonna lock it in there for you. And then this guy, let me get this out of the way. This, um, again, rubbery compound, so you're not gonna slide around. Definitely big enough for the biggest cell phones. That's your Qi wireless charger. Um, pop it in there. So technically you got six charging stations in this particular car, which is an awesome way to have that. You do have your sport shift right there, so you can shift up and down. You saw that light pop up. It is a digital speedometer, or not speedometer, but e-brake. Um, so that thing just, whenever you stop, it's automatically gonna throw the e-brake on there for you. The hold button, I've really started to use this thing. It took me a while to get used to it, but what you're doing is you're pressing that and it stops the crawl. When you walk up, when you drive up to a light, 
you don't have to worry about um, holding the, the, the brake pedal down the whole entire time. As soon as you get there, you can stop and it sits there until you hit the gas again. The whole button takes a little bit to get used to, but once you get used to it, it's a really nice feature to have. And then this is where the trail starts taking, taking shape for it and why we did the build on this one. You have your downhill active control, your snow mode, um, rock mode, essentially you're adjusting your, um, what would you call it, the traction control system to best fit mud, rock, or dirt, depending on where you're driving. So you'd be surprised at where this thing, if you watch YouTube and um, um, could, uh, Instagram, there's a bunch of these things now going and doing some serious off-roading. Um, and again, these, this system is becoming better and better and better. You can also adjust your um, digital gas pedal. So your, your throttle control is set here. So Eco, of course, is gonna be a little more spongy. So what it's gonna do is give you the best fuel economy and not jump the RPM up really quickly. Normal is where it always sets when you jump into the car and you actually see it change right there. So as we jump into this thing, this color will change on the whole works and, and even your dash, you can see as you change the different colors, it gives you your um, clear spot where you're in. So sport mode, same thing as this, it's the opposite. As soon as you click that, it just jumps the RPMs up a little quicker um, and the shift points are a little higher. So again, smaller shift points, higher shift points, so again, you got traction control settings here for you, and you've got your um, throttle control. So you can really dial this thing in to what it is you're actually doing in driving. Um, to me, this is a really huge upgrade in the trail and these new RAV4s. Cup holders here. One of the nice things I like about these, if you look, there's no little holes or spots or little plastic things you're going to lose. This is one piece, easy to clean out, and definitely big enough to throw whatever in there. Still not Nalgene size, but still very, very close to large water bottles. Uh, but again, a really nice option. If you take a peek at there, um, nice setup there for you. You do have lockable storage right here. You've got your block heater cable right there. Of course, with these um, nice set of these off-road rims on here, you're gonna wanna have your uh, key for your locking wheel nuts, which is in that orange bag there for you. Of course, nitrogen in every single car. They do a bunch of different things, but the main piece is, for us, the weather temperature changes in Alberta here, which are awesome. Um, pop the lights on these things. We've noticed without nitrogen in there, uh, you get the tire light on more times than not just from temperature change. These tire lights are super sensitive. We're finding that nitrogen does that. All the other stuff outside of um, this, I would say marginal at best of what nitrogen will actually do for you. But the rest of the stuff in there um, is awesome. In here, you're gonna have heated air conditioned seats on both driver and passenger. You can see you can adjust that right there. If you go to red, it changes the color right there. So you can see which ones you're in automatically and it does work. Um, quite well. So summertime, you're driving around, it's nice. Dual climate control on this guy, so you can adjust to where you want. Sync button is gonna always go back to this guy. It'll allow you to control both from, from that spot. One of the things I like the Toyota's doing is keeping all this stuff out of that. A lot of the other manufacturers are going to everything included in the head unit, but it's nice to have these big dials allowing you to adjust things without having to mess around with that guy. Your traction control on and off right there, a couple different stages for that guy. And of course, your head unit here. A number of different things that Toyota's really increased. These things used to be a pain for Toyota, but now I think they're one of the better ones out there. Register your phone, one button away. Now all I have to do, sorry, two buttons away as I say that. Now all I have to do is go into my cell phone, go to the settings, hook up Bluetooth, and off I go. Everything is one or two buttons away. It's a nice option for you. With the home button, I go home, sorry, menu button. I can go into this guy and start adjusting the way I want um, that screen to look. So customize home screen, jump in there, change layout, and I can adjust if I want more or less depending on what I want, I can add and change what I want those screens to look like. So you can really customize that main piece. You can also even change the colors here, go to the dark mode or the light mode, depending on what you want to go with. Um, maybe even the red, I like the blue, I think that's the best one right there. Um, there's a couple other things you can do into this guy. Um, change keyboard layouts, memorize keyboards, a bunch of different things there for you. So again, a couple laps around there and you can really hone this car into what's comfortable for you. One of the things I like in here as well is a really nice backup camera. As you can see, you got tip to tip on bumpers here, and then you can adjust how you have these things. So depending on what's comfortable for you, I like this one because as you do the steering wheel, it does adjust there for you. And then I can change to full wide angle, you know, a complete wide angle where you can see, uh, you know, a good foot past the bumper. So again, uh, much more clear. I mean, if you're in a busy backing up, busy intersection, it's nice to have that option there. So you can fully adjust the way that looks. So again, really nice backup camera into this guy. Jumping up into here, 
you're gonna have a few different options for you as well. The Toyota Connect is right there, so that SOS button um, is like concierge service, plus it's gonna uh, help you do a lot of different ex extra things with servicing and those kinds of stuff. So again, typical um, glasses piece right there for you. Sunroof in this guy, and you can see this bar and this bar, these two are removable, so if you prefer just to have a clean sunroof, these things are removable. So again, that Prince rack coming into, into its own. If you wanna use the whole system, it's there. If you just wanna remove these so you have that clear sunroof, it is possible as well. So again, really nice vehicle, lift kit, um, a bunch of extra features in this thing. And the beautiful part about that is you're into a really nice RAV4 with a lot of extra features um, that is fully capable off-road for about the same price as an MSRP of a 4Runner. So again, really neat little vehicle. If you're looking to get out into the woods or off-roading a little bit this year, or just looking to have a really unique RAV4, come check this one out. It'll be in our showroom.